You can't imagine, I mean, women holding a kid all the light and flying through the air. I mean, not one woman, old men, anything, chairs, tables, bits of building, they're all sucked up into this vortex by the wind, the power of the wind which is coming in to feed this city which is on fire. People being massacred, burnt alive. Children screaming, digging out the remains of people who've been roasted alive. And Four thousand pound of uh, of uh, napalm dropping and then exploding on the impact. Anything within three hundred yards was incinerated immediately. The whole of the centre of Dresden was one big fireball, and, and it was increasing by the minute. You never saw any children. The children were all melted. You'd say younger than say seven or eight, their bodies would be fragile, turned from a human body into a gooey mass of sort of jelly. If you've ever smelt flesh uh, burnt, and then at the same time they're all screaming, it's bedlam, uh, it, it, you, you just can't describe it. I think the normal brain shuts itself off when it gets to a certain point of horror and obscenity. I'd been through six years of war. I'd walked through fields where absolutely littered with dead bodies. I've got friends buried in Germany, I've got friends buried in Italy, I've got friends buried in North Africa, and uh, I've seen it all, but nothing prepared me for the sight of ordinary people without any defence whatsoever uh, being burnt alive. I never thought the British people could uh, devise and carry out such a thing. Of course, the British people didn't do it. It was people who say they speak for Britain, these people in charge, and that they were the guilty ones, not the airmen. Uh, it turned me into a psychopath. Well, I wasn't really bar me. I, I, I was more, much more dangerous than that. I was, a, I was a fully committed psychopath living two lives in which authority uh, was the greatest enemy. Uh, to me, it was authority which had, had killed all those innocent people. Churchill is supposed to have uh, uh, been asked to smooth the way and to do it, he demonstrated the power of the, uh, of the Allied bombers. And it was, in my opinion, it was a war crime. People would come up to me and say, oh, you're anti-British and uh, you're pro-German and, and things like this, and uh, they bombed us, and so why shouldn't we bomb them? It was a different scenario altogether. We never had bomb drops and just like that. There wasn't soldier against soldier or man against man. It was technology killing, murdering in the, in the worst of manner. I've spent my life since then trying to, to preach the gospel that we shouldn't do this, that we should have found a, a different way to settle arguments. And if I can do any good, while I'm still on earth, then I'll try and do it. We've got to learn to live together. That's what we've got to do. So whether I'm banging my head against a brick wall or not, I don't know. Maybe it will influence people to, to uh, as if they believe it.